Hi, I'm Carolyn Evans-Hammond. Welcome to The Wine Find. Now, Riesling's birthday is interesting because it's not an arbitrary date selected by some marketing company. It actually links to the first discovery of Riesling. March 13th, 1435 was the first record they found of the Riesling grape. It was in Germany. And I'm going to be tasting a number of bottles with my very good friend, Kimberly Pollock. She's one of the top sommeliers in Toronto, works at Allo Bar, which is one of the top restaurants in Toronto, and she's very knowledgeable about Riesling, so I'm excited to share this with you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. What do you find exciting about Riesling? Riesling is such a, a beautiful grape because it focuses on balance. Um, there's always something so exciting there, the aromatics, the acidity, the sugar in some cases, um, but because of that balance, it's one of my favorite wines to go with food. Now with Riesling, there's this idea often that Riesling is sweet, but it's not always sweet. It can actually be quite bone dry and there's a full spectrum. We've got four different wines. The first one we're tasting is called Relax Riesling. Oh, it's delightful. This is a perfect kind of entry point Riesling that gives you the, the character of the grape uh, in, a, in a balanced style, um, but also kind of encourages you to, to not overthink it. It's not terribly complex. Balance is the charm. Mm -hmm. Next we're tasting Dr. Lucen's Blue Slate 2018 from the Mosul. Are there any markings on this label that would educate a, a consumer who's just in a store who's looking for a Riesling? Absolutely. So looking at, at the alcohol level in a wine is a really great indicator about whether or not there might be some residual sugar left in there. Anything under 10% uh, likely wasn't fermented until it was completely dry. And so something that comes in like this at 8.5, um, you can be fairly certain there's gonna be a little bit of a, a fruitier emphasis to the wine, the sugar. Mm. Oh my goodness. Can you still count on that high shimmering acidity? Always. Um, everything about this wine screams well made, thoughtfully made, um, but the price point is, is amazing. I could run this by the glass um, and everyone would love it and not think of it as a sweet wine, but think of it as like, the perfect complement to a meal. This is a really deeply undervalued wine. Do you know how much this costs retail in Ontario? Surprise me. $24.95. <laughs> Isn't that insane? This will be stocked up in my fridge all summer. Yeah. I'm gonna tell everyone I know. So this is our next one. I'm going to let Kimberly introduce this one. So this is Selbach Oster's Zeltinger Zonenuhr Riesling Spätlese from the 2016 vintage. Okay, so let's taste this. I think this wine is showing a little differently than the previous ones and what I'm really happy about is that it's just a little bit older. Um, Riesling ages so beautifully uh, and what you get out of an older Riesling um, is even less obvious fruit. I mean that kind of recedes and you get a savouriness that complements all of that minerality. It's fantastic. So now we are tasting this wine. Egon Müller's Schwarzhofberger Cabinet. I think this winemaker is iconic. Originally the Schwarzhofberger uh, was planted by Romans and so to have kind of vines that are hundreds of years old still producing wine uh, is exceptional. And this is a wine that I would actually decant before I served it to the guests. Because it's a little bit younger and because there is a little bit of residual sugar here, this is explosive. Piercing acidity through the fruit and it's impeccably balanced. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for sharing this wine is amazing. <laughs> thanks for joining us and thanks for watching. In celebration of Riesling's birthday on March 13th, go grab yourself a bottle of Riesling. Then open it and tell us all about it in the comments below. See you next time on The Wine Find.